this. I brought this. Okay. Different, different ways to rig this thing. My name is Steve Orlebeck. I'm the engineering manager here at Harkin USA. We're in the Harkin lab, look, taking a look at the new one-ton twing block, which I also designed. The idea of this twing block uh, came from a bunch of sailing that I've been doing on a 52-foot boat offshore, a lot of offshore racing, and had a lot of chances to watch our trimmers rig sheets for furling reaching sails, such as code zeros or jib tops. And it became apparent to me that we didn't have the right product for these guys to be able to do this rigging quickly and safely. So the design brief for the one-ton twing block was to come up with a compact, lightweight block that could be easily opened one-handed, like this, installed on the sheet or taken off the sheet, and then quickly closed back up. The ability to open and close this block one-handed is important, I think, primarily for safety reasons. When you're rigging a twing block, the sheet is outboard, so the, the, the trimmer's got to reach. The boat could be heeled, it could be night, it could be waves. The trimmer's got to reach to install it, so it's good to be able to have one hand for the boat, one hand for the rigging. So this block was originally designed as a twing or tweaker block, but uh, it could easily be rigged with a soft shackle and used as a snatch block. It could also be looped onto a gizmo pad eye or a stainless steel pad eye with a basket loop. The shiv material is 6061 aluminum, hard anodized aluminum. It has Torlon balls in the sides of the shiv for side loads and it has a, a composite journal bearing for the axial load. All the components are precision machined here in Pewaukee. The button design is domed on top so that it picks up a, a ramped groove in the, close, in the opening cheek and has a very positive spring-loaded click when it locks, unlocks, so you know for sure that it's, it's closed. It also has these little pins on the inside, uh, call, I call anti-capsize pins. So in the case we're using quite small sheets, in fact, we had some prototypes on a Pac-52 uh, in the Fastnet race, in the Middle Sea race, and they were using a two to one eight millimeter up-down line and an eight millimeter sheet. When the block wasn't loaded, it was those two lines were able to pass each other and was able to capsize and, and essentially be hanging upside down. So I came up with this split anti-capsize pin design to prevent that, and it, worked, it works pretty well. These pins can be removed in the case that you want to use a sheet larger than 8 millimeters, 10 or 12. It'll, this block will take up to 12 millimeter sheets. Uh, and if you splice on the thimble and use it one-to-one, -one, then you don't really have any trouble with it wanting to capsize.